Racing and Special Operations at Aston Martin and we are sat in a project that when Aston Martin told me about it I almost didn't believe it. Um, V8 Vantage powered Aston Martin Signet. The Super Signet. The Super yes. Signet uh, and super it is. I've seen it driving up the hill. You wouldn't believe how this thing sounds to look at it. Uh, tell me how it all started. Well um, Signet goes back a few years ago now when we were looking at a <coughs> concept of a luxury city car. Um, didn't quite come off, perhaps ahead of its time as an idea, but we we were planning to have a bit of fun with it back then, a few years ago, and we started a project called Super Signet just to put a V8 in, just for a bit of fun really, because yeah. that's part of work at Aston Martin, is having yeah. fun, and the um, project got put on ice for a while until we were chatting to one of our special VIP customers um, mm -hmm. recently who asked if he could recommission the project um, for him as a customer. I love this man. And, uh, <laughs> I love this a, man. He's a cool guy and <laughs> yeah. uh, we've done lots of cool things with him in the past and uh, so most of the work was done, it just needed beautifully finishing and uh, completing and testing and now he's uh, he's here watching his pride it's, enjoy going it's up the so hill. Cool. So in terms of fitting, how you go about engineering a signet to accommodate is this the V8 from the Vantage S? It is, yes. So horsepower wise, would it be 430? 430, like yes. Good yeah. God. And what's the weight of this? this uh, it's a very, around about. It's perhaps a little bit heavier than it looks. It's about 13, 12, 50, 1300 okay. kilos, I think. But still, power to weight is disproportionately fantastic. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's a good yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, I was speaking to one of your engineers outside, Dan Wood. Yeah. He was saying that you still even managed to get a 50 50 weight distribution, even though that, that, that big lump's there, yeah. which is incredible. Yeah. What's it like to drive? I haven't, I haven't driven this thing. Uh, I, I, <laughs> it's um, a little bit edgy. It's got a very yeah. short wheelbase and lots For of sure. power, but yeah. as you'd expect. But um, you know, it's, it's not designed to be the fastest car at a racetrack. It's, yeah. It's sure? hugely entertaining, very fast. Just it's a really cool, quirky thing that is the sort of thing we, sh we should be able to, we still can do yeah. to have some fun in, in what's sometimes quite a serious business. And it, to me, it's an example of we can do almost anything as a commission for customers now. We've got so much capability that we develop from our small series, our limited editions, our racing programs that we have clever people that can make anything as a one off commission for a customer. Fantastic. So, I guess on, I mean, I've seen people walk this past this car, and let's face it, there's some seriously cool cars here. I don't think I've seen anything put smiles on the face quite as much as this thing. Um, and as you said, it must be an amazing showcase for clients who do want something a bit more out of the box. You know, now they might go, oh, maybe they can make me this crazy project or this and this. And That's the idea. You know, we have another commission here today, the V600, Vantage V600, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit more sophisticated than this. Sure um, yeah. We're making 14 of those in total, but that's a very small series commission um, for a, very, a select group of customers. Come with an idea. It's Who not knows? cheap, but we can do pretty Who much knows? anything. So, not to nose too much, but I've obviously noticed this is a right-hand drive car. Is this staying in England? Um, I would be wrong to comment on the customer. Uh, Who knows? I imagine Who knows? it will spend time on, on uh, both sides of the English Channel. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, I think it's awesome. Uh, when I first heard about it, I couldn't wait to see it. Seeing it go up the hill is incredible. Uh, speaking of which, I'm not going to uh, splice in some onboard footage of this thing uh, driving uh, earlier on because I think it would be a disservice to it if we didn't.
seriously, I think it's I think it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's a uh, great, great thing. I, I love how the the guys who have worked on it have signed it yeah. in the back there. Guys need things like this. Well, they have great jobs anyway, but yeah. the chance to. <laughs> do something a bit out of the ordinary, it motivates yeah. people. Of course. Yeah. And the, we're a company now where, where anything, there's so much going on that anyone comes with a good idea, yeah. we'll make it happen if it's, if it's vaguely sensible. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Well, not vaguely sensible, <laughs> as the case vaguely may be. I mean, whenever like would we thought we'd have seen a signet that you can remove the steering wheel. <laughs> I mean, it's full on race car, isn't it, that? So, just put that on. There you go. Is that on? Yeah. Will it come on? Will it do it? I'll get the guys to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool.